people embrace the real bodybuilding lifestyle. And I read the article, and I read it honestly. I think I had a bowl of potato chips and a cold beer. The article I wrote about the contest was very thorough. Every excuse that I had told myself and my friends, Bill Phillips covered. If you can't get excited about this, then, then you're dead. You, you've, you're paralyzed by some type of fear that you have. And the article said, do it or go start an ant farm. And I thought, who is he to tell me to start an ant farm? I can do this. I, I can't think of anything more boring than building an ant farm. Peach snobs. I guess it don't matter if you're kicked, you're kicked. Being in the nightclub business, a good bartender always tastes the drink. That's pretty good. There's an awful lot of cold beer, and I like to have a cold beer. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> ah, ginger ale. <laughs> And it's so easy to get off work at 2.30 in the morning and go eat breakfast, which consists of bacon and pancakes, and then to go to bed, you just get in worse and worse and worse shape. Porter looked like your typical middle-aged couch potato. He was 240 pounds at 27% body fat. I guess at some point you begin to kid yourself that one more pant size isn't going to be noticeable and having to unbutton one more button on your shirt collar, you try to tell yourself, well, it's just muscle, and it isn't. This is the bar business, washing glasses. I didn't want to be confronted with how unhealthy I was, so I just partied and had a good time. Hey, Porter! Hey. All right, I was the same person I had just gotten in a shell of fat. I said, this is not who I am. I've got more character than this. I can find the time. I can cut out the junk I'm eating. And I did it. The people at the gym were kind enough. After they saw that I was intent on doing this, they gave me a key. I can't tell you that it's absolutely the easiest thing to do, or else everybody would look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not the easiest thing, but if you want it, you get in there and you become focused. You make gains and then you set another goal. I didn't notice the change immediately, but one of uh, the girls that works here with me sort of took me to the side and said, Carter, you look, you're looking so much thinner. What are you doing? I was still wearing the same pants that I had started the workout with, and they were so baggy and so loose, and it hadn't dawned on me. And that was the first time that I realized this is working. It's so much motivation to see the muscle come and the fat go. It's like seeing an old friend come back in your life that you really liked and you haven't seen them for a couple of years. <laughs> you can see he's happy with himself because he was something he wanted to do. He's on the quads. Yeah. The whole picture in his life has just turned right around. I'd make it happen. It's a new person, completely new. A ginger ale. As far as physique, and attitude and everything. What can I get you, precious little angel? Something that made me quiver. Oh. <laughs> you want some goat's milk? <laughs> My father just his age, and he doesn't look nothing like him. <laughs> I was going to make 12 weeks or die, and that they were going to find me dead in there. I wanted it. That's that simple. So ripped. I mean, did you see this guy out? I mean, how cut up he is. Look at look at this one. He has such great, such such a great physique. Check this out, you guys. I've got a personal favorite here. Guy's almost fifty. Lost wow. about fifty pounds. 
There's tough competition in there. There's some people that have done some amazing things. Oh, man. Check out this transformation. Hey, hey. Yes. Look at that. She's, she's great. I mean, she really what, cat, what category is she in? She's, she's in uh, fat loss. Fat loss. So set her, set her aside and we'll, we'll uh, take her down to the top 50. It was just unbelievable. You would look at the picture before, you look at the picture afterwards, and sometimes you couldn't even tell it was the same person. We do a pretty thorough investigation of anyone who looks real suspicious, but the transformations that took place were unbelievable. Regardless, though, I've already won something even more valuable. I placed first in getting my health back. As judges, we, d we developed our own way of going through the packets on the contestants. And I made sure that I did not look at the picture. The very first thing I did was to read who these people were. I was very interested. It was very, very time consuming. You know, four hours turned into eight, eight turned into 12. It was nothing for us to be there 12 hours a day. What was that? There were some that were hilarious. Some people shaved EAS in their chest, and some shaved them in the side of their head. I mean, and told outrageous stories. I would wait until everybody was gone. I wanted to be by myself when I read the kids. But until everybody went home, I'm there by myself. And even at two o'clock in the morning, after reading all these kids, I wanted to go home and work out. I wanted to feel like these people. I wanted to feel as excited and as passionate about life as they did after they'd gone through this change. A lot of people entered the contest that couldn't finish. Other people just found that it was much more difficult than they had anticipated. I think they started the contest I want to win the Lamborghini, I want the $50,000, I, I can do this. And then as they got halfway through it, like things in their life started changing. And unreal things, like people's wives came back to them, they started acting different, they started feeling different. Yes, they made great physical changes, but it was about life changes that were made. Out of thousands and thousands of entries, we just somehow narrowed it down to those 10 finalists. Porter Freeman, he was the 47-year-old club manager we had already met, and he made the top 10. And uh, he not only changed his body, but he changed his entire lifestyle. Meredith Brown, she's a wife, a mother, and a healthcare professional from Southern California, and she showed that even an out-of-shape mom can benefit from bodybuilding. Now, Jeff Seidman put on 27 pounds of muscle in only 12 weeks. He's a student and a bellman. He did all this with this full-time job and classes. Drew Avery is 34 from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and he says you have to have a real desire to change. And he said for the first time you can see his abs. Everett Herbert is a grandfather from Salt Lake City, and right now at 50 years old, he's built his body back and he's built his entire life back. Ralph Zangar is from Buffalo, New York, and he's a police officer. He lost 47 pounds of fat, and he says that it's made him a better cop, a better father, even a better husband. Then there's Av Ansley. He's a 43-year-old financial specialist from Baton Rouge. He showed us that even a white cloud executive can benefit from bodybuilding. Brad Wadlow is a drilling rig operator from Missouri. He really needed a challenge. He was getting complacent in his late 20s, and he said, if you don't try something great, you've already failed. Lynn Lingenfelter is our inspirational winner, and he's a carpenter from Pennsylvania. And he said building a stronger body has really helped the quality of his life, his health, and his fitness. Anthony Ellis was your classic 98-pound weakling. Well, not anymore. He just put on 32 pounds of muscle, and right now he's under 7% body fat. After we selected the 10, Bill decided to come up with this outrageous idea just to fly around the country in a plane and go knock on their doors and surprise them. Some of the risks he takes and the, the resources he will commit to a project blow me away. Overnight in Los Angeles, meet up with Stallone around 8 o'clock on top of the peninsula. We've got four people we've got to get in today. Tomorrow, we gotta be fresh early, out of there. Two, seven, zero, uh, three, four, right, look on. So everybody, did you forget anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It's okay. really I hope if you had to go, you went at the office. <laughs> because you didn't have time to stop. Our first stop was Beverly Hills, where we would surprise Meredith Brown with $10,000 and a slot in the top 10. She slashed her body fat in half while gaining five pounds of muscle. 
all while overcoming a deeply personal loss. We're hiding out, waiting for Meredith Brown, and so we have strategically managed to get her out here on this rooftop. Excuse me, is this Meredith Brown? Meredith? Oh, hi.